guys and welcome back to my channel. How are you? You're fine. Y'all, I'm about to take these crusty braids out of my hair. I gotta wash my hair, y'all. I got a photo shoot tomorrow. And I am playing music, so if you guys hear it's like some back if you guys hear some background noise, that is what this is, y'all. And yes, I do look darker because I just got back from Aruba and I'm burnt. Like you probably can see some of my skin peeling. I am burnt, burnt. Like I am burnt. Okay, and I think my scalp got burnt too, but the braids were, well, the ponytail was very, very tight. I just kind of took the ponytail out, but I, I don't know, for the, for slaying purposes, I did not loosen my ponytail, and <clears throat> I got a lot of, um, like, bumps was right there, and so, you know, that stuff turned into, like, white flakes and stuff. Ugh, it's just nasty, friend, and I gotta get this out of my hair, okay? But I don't know where my hair is, though. I ain't up here, right? Like, <laughs> friend, I'm like, I don't know what my hair is. Don't cut your hair, girl. All right, so we're going to be taking out my hair, right? Okay? And, and, reading off these assumptions. So, at first, when I asked y'all on Instagram, y'all gave me all the trash, honey. <laughs> well, it wasn't trash, y'all. It was just, like, nice stuff. But on YouTube, I figured you guys don't know me as much because on Instagram, I'm, I'm like, y'all see me a lot, so... I don't leave a lot for interpretation, okay? But I'm not a very, like, private person because I don't, I mean, why? <laughs> you know, I'm just not a private person because being private doesn't show anything with the world. Anyway, that's my opinion. But we're going to take these braids out, girl, because it's time to get this thing out. Okay, so I got quite a few, and I'm just going to go by the ones that are on YouTube in my community section. Y'all need to be in my community, okay? We be talking in the community section. I like to communicate with you guys. In the community community section anyway let's get to it all right so hey Kim I honestly assume you were China and McCain when I came across your channel or is there any way you are related you guys know but I hear that all the time uh, she's cute though cute little girl but no yo I'm so scared I'm like is this not is this my which I don't know do you know? We're just going to start low and figure it out. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm scared, y'all. I don't know how long my hair is in braids. <laughs> anyway, yeah, y'all know. <laughs> I don't know that little girl. Everybody asked me. I asked you guys on Instagram um, who was my celebrity lookalike, and everybody told me either her that China Ann McCain girl, I get that all the time. And I also get Portia and her sister all the time. They're so beautiful, but they're all like light skin. I think y'all look, I look lighter um, to y'all than I thought I did. I, I feel like I was a chocolate little baby. I've always been a little chocolatey. Assumption, you had long hair all your life. Um, no, I have not, y'all. I'll put a picture right here. <laughs> My hair used to be right here i mean i i had long hair in high school but in college nah sis we wasn't working with long hair at all um and then even in high school it was like permed straight long which is fine but mm, mm, you know what's happening is my hair in this could way look could you hello can i get a wet a Okay, yeah, my hair is in it. It feels a little tangly now. <laughs> but, um, okay, let's move on. Let's move on, sister. Um, my assumption is that you're very good at saving money even though you not like nice things and expensive hair products. First of all, I'm going to need to get this out because I feel like y'all got a misconception of me. I ain't bought all these products, y'all. I am a hair vlogger. Like, I literally would say I only spent $300 on my entire shelf. Like, majority of those products are sent to me, y'all. Like, I ain't spent all that money on hair products. That's why I, I do videos for you guys so that you don't spend all your coins. But y'all still spend y'all coin and be mad at me. I don't really understand the logic. But, no, I do these videos to help y'all out like <laughs> that's it see like i ain't buying products like when y'all when um black friday came i didn't buy nothing i told myself girl you no you can't buy nothing no because mm -mm. you got i like i got too much stuff like why would i buy stuff if i i got too much stuff y'all got too much stuff so yeah no um but i am really good at saving money that came from me mama okay my mama 
always like I with I went negative on my account as a little girl and y'all my mom was so mad and I, I don't I'm the type that I don't like my mom to be mad at me so um I got it together and like every time I would like stack up money my mom would get happy <laughs> so I'm like when, when, when I have money, my mommy is happy. And y'all, she never wanted money from me. She just always wanted me to have money. Like, I've always, I've had money, like more money in my account a lot of times than my mom. And she would still buy me things, like big things, like my bed. She bought like a lot, a lot of my house stuff, my mom paid for it. Like, my mom is so crazy. And we have a linked bank account. So she knows and sees all the money that I have and still gives me money. Like, what? What kind of mom are you? Best mom ever. <laughs> but yeah y'all I can save like I really want to do a savings video because I, I love to talk about saving money because you know that's big nowadays <laughs> everybody want that coin but don't nobody want to sacrifice like I, I could do without a lot of stuff like uh, y'all I could sleep I could sleep on the floor like that's just me like I'm not a bougie bitch like I could sleep on the floor I don't need a lot of stuff now i've worked hard to have this house this house was not earned off of youtube salary at all this i had to work my corporate life and and get this house and a lot of you guys know that um because we went through that transition but um get out man get, get, get out my hair but yeah girl but yeah y'all i do i do i love saving money and if you if you guys want me to, I, I know I keep saying if you guys want me to do a video on it, I will. And I'm, I'm trying to get those videos out. But um, I'm just so scared that you guys aren't going to watch them. And I don't want to just waste my time doing those videos, you know. But anyway. Yeah, girl. I saved the quaint because, you know, I, I really want to get like another house and shit. Like, I don't want to live here forever. <laughs> Gotta save them coins, I think. All right, the next one. You can't stand cheating, lying ass, hoe ass, stanky, breath broke ass, jive, turkey ass, man. Show goddamn can't, show can't, friend. And um, so I'll be single. I know that was another assumption that I have a man. I ain't got no goddamn man, y'all. I ain't got no man, honey. And don't need one with this with this job and doing YouTube. I, not too many people understand that even though I'm home, I'm I'm working a lot, you know. And some and a lot of times I don't I can't go many places because there's deadlines to things, and I put myself on deadlines. Like even though a lot of my content aren't is it sponsored, and you know besides last month, um, you know you got to put yourself like on those standards. You can't just put yourself on deadlines just because you have one from a company like. I put myself on deadlines because that's how I get my videos out. Like, I, I'm very strict on my, like, schedule and stuff. But, um, yeah, guys don't really understand that. And they want your time. Like, they get, they some big-ass babies, okay? You think that women are sensitive, but men are 20 million times more sensitive than women. Like, on some real shit. Like, it, it's really bad. And so, I don't know. I know I, I can't give anybody a lot of my time because I'm giving my job and my growth, my time. And there's just a lot of things that you have to sacrifice in this industry that you guys don't really understand that you do have to sacrifice that if you're building and growing. Even if you're trying to own your own business or even being a hairstylist, like sometimes you have to sacrifice for your job. Um, and this is just, I, I'm at a point in my life right now where I'm, I'm building. And so I'm just like, I don't want to to deal with a relationship right now. But when someone comes along and they understand all of that and all that shit, then, you know, it'll work out. But right now, I, I'm just, I don't, I don't, I can't, I ain't got time to try to start over, hon. I ain't got time, hon. I ain't got time. All right, let's see. Y'all, I'm sitting on my feet and it's starting to hurt. Ugh. I need a taller chair because if I sit on my butt, this is how it looks. But y'all gonna have to deal with it because my feet hurt. Okay. Somebody said, I assume you're single and don't care about a relationship. Well, <laughs> answered that, didn't we? You're the best girlfriend ever with that personality. Um, same, of course. She got her own coins. Two snaps. Sister. Um, let's see. I would be I would be a good girl. I mean, I was a good girlfriend. I mean, every ex that I had has wanted me back. So, <laughs> no shade. And they can come out here and tell you shit. If they, if they ain't brave enough. Um, that, that, that ain't an issue, but when I'm going through it, y'all, like, 
if I, like, I will try my hardest, okay? I'll try my hardest to not let you walk out of my life as a friend, as a boyfriend. Like, I will love you unconditionally. I am very forgiving. If you come to me and you, like, apologize for things, I forgive every time. Like, I'm an easy forgiving person. Because I, 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 it takes a long time to love. Like, I, I love hard. And if, if I feel like I love you, I'm not going to just let you walk out of my life really easy. Um, so when I finally do cut your ass off, <laughs> God be with you trying to get back in, boo, because I ain't the one. Because I'm mentally gone. Mentally gone. Like, you, you, don't, you don't excite me anymore because you felt it was okay. You felt it was okay to hurt me. You felt it was okay. Like, I don't give a damn. I don't give, I don't give a damn who you are. Okay? Y'all, like, my family know how I am. All right. Your zodiac sign is Virgo or Taurus. I am a Leo, you guys. A lot of people say I'm a Virgo, which is close. But I'm a Leo. I'm August 11th. You have a crush on Jason Momoa? No, I do not. I don't even know who that is. Should I know who that is? Oh, shit. Let me Google him. Shit. Y'all, I really don't, like, be into, like, I don't know a lot of people. Like, I don't know a lot of celebrity names and stuff. I don't watch a lot of TV. <laughs> oh, he cute. Eh, hold on, little man. Oh, yes, God. Who he friend, 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 friend. Oh, my shit. Yep, yep, we both crushing. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Oh, he fine, fine. Oh, y'all, he fine, fine. I, I posted, I gotta, yeah, he fine, fine. <laughs> Honey, yes, we both do. You did softball in high school. No, you guys, I, I cheered and danced in high school. Let me, actually, I was, um, I didn't make the cheerleading squad in middle school. And, like, my first year. And, y'all, so they had, I'm gonna tell y'all a little story, a little story time. So, I, they had the little, um, shit, don't cut your hair, Kim. They had the list. On the door, I tried out. That was my first time, like, trying out. I had did, like, recreational cheering as a kid. But, you know, that's, like, kid shit. Don't nobody do nothing like that. But, you know, it, it ain't serious. They don't actually be, like, amazing or anything like that. But, um, I had made, I had, um, tried out for the team. And it was, was my first year of middle school. What's that? Six? Yeah, sixth grade. Sixth grade, I tried out, y'all. The, the paper was posted on the door, so you, your parents had to drive you back up a little later to see if you, um, you know, got on the team or whatever. So I, my mom drove me up. She had an expedition. It's like a blue expedition. I don't know. I, I don't know why I'm giving y'all these details. But anyway, um, I went up to the door, y'all, and my mom said I turned around, and my face was just, like, so freaking sad like she said I was so sad when I came back to the car y'all and I just bust out crying and my mom hates when I cry but I cry hard like if I'm sad I cry hard y'all and my mom just hates when I cry so I was just crying 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 and she was like it's okay Kim like you know you just gotta practice and practice it's gonna make perfect I mean practice you just gotta practice and you'll get it like don't give up don't give up don't ever give up sometimes it's not for you at the moment but don't ever give up y'all every year after that I made everything I've ever tried out for I, I tried out for the chilling squad for the middle like my seventh grade year I made it made it my eighth grade year I went to high school my ninth grade year of course I tried out for junior varsity, like, competition cheerleading. And I was, like, one out of two black girls that actually made the team. Like, I was not playing no games. But then we had some issues with um, the coach at that time. Like, bad issues. Like, they had to call all of us to the office. Like, it was so bad. And she got fired. But after that, I was like, I'm done with competition cheerleading. Um, and I couldn't learn how to do... Uh, back handspring either so I was just like you know what I don't even think this is for me I'm just gonna go and then I, my, my best friend who actually has this tattoo because you always ask me who has the other tattoo and so she was like try out for um the dance team um and I was like hey, y'all I didn't even know if I knew how to dance or anything so I tried out y'all and I made it my um 10th grade year because ninth grade I was on junior varsity com competition cheerleading um so then I, I made the team, y'all, and then the next year after I made the team, my 11th grade and 12th grade year, I was the captain. Like, 
I was not playing any games. Then I graduated, went to college, and then I tried out for the dance team in college and I made it. And then I was the choreographer throughout my whole college career. So yeah, that's my life story, you guys. I That's my high school and college life. I was really a great dancer. Oh, and I did basketball cheerleading. Um, and I used to make up a lot of the cheers back in high school too. So I don't know. All of that was just a oh, good time, y'all. I love to be like a leader. I've always been like a leader. I always like teaching people how to do things. I love teaching people how to dance. That is my passion. Anyway, so yeah, I did not do softball in, in high school. <laughs> All that to say, nope, I ain't do softball. <laughs> um, you have good friends to fill the void of non-relationships. I do. I do. I do. And I don't wish, like, a lot of people think that, like, when you are single, you're, like, salty and stuff. Like, no. Like, I think I might, I can literally be that single friend that travels. Like, I really think I can be her <laughs> that travels and ain't got no kids, but I see about everybody else's kids. Like, I would love to have kids of my own, but, you know, I'm not rich in that type of stuff because I know in all, it, like, I believe in God's timing and everything happens for a reason. So, I don't stress about any of that stuff, but, yeah, y'all. I um I do have good friends. Now, like I've I've had to weed out a lot of bad friends. Like friends that like you feel like you got to tiptoe around what they what like what you do to them, or, like or how you talk to them just because they may their feelings might be hurt. Like I'm not that type of person. Like I need somebody that's like I, my friends need to be I'm never going to hurt people's feelings. Like I'm not the type that hurts. Like anybody who's ever come in contact with me like, I don't say anything to hurt anybody's feelings. Like, I can't hurt your feelings because when people's feelings are hurt, I get sad. Like, I'm a, I get sad if people's feelings are hurt and they did nothing wrong. Like, that's, y'all, that's been my biggest thing. Like, don't accuse me of something I did not do. Like, I hate that. Y'all, I could just talk forever. But anyway, um, you spend a lot of time alone because of the bullshit. I spend a lot of time alone because I just like to spend a lot of time alone because I love myself. That funny. No, nah, I do. I do. I really do love myself. But uh, I just like to. I just like to be alone. I just talking to myself and all that stuff. Just I feel like all that is needed. If you don't know how to be alone and love yourself alone, then you can't give yourself to anybody. And and so while I'm alone, I that's why I'm appreciating who I am and learning who I am. So that if anybody comes into my life, I can literally tell them like this is who I am, my flaws and all. Like. I, I can give that to you because I know who I am and I'm comfortable with who I am as a person now, okay? It ain't always been like that, but now. <laughs> um, that I met a new boo on my trip to Aruba? Girl, no, nah, I ain't met nobody. Then. I'm an only child? No, you guys. Um, I have two older brothers. I actually have some sisters, too, on my dad's side. So we are actually a huge family, but I don't really claim them because I didn't grow up with them. Not for real. Like, I grew up knowing of them, but, like, we're not close. So, there's that. But, um, nope, I'm not an only child. My mom did have, I, I did live with my two older brothers. I was the only girl, and I am the baby. But, um, yeah, one of my brothers died, as you guys should know. And now my dad has died. So, now it's just my mom, me, and my brother. But my brother is with the bullshit. Like, he's not... He's not anything to even, like, get excited about. Like, I think he let his good looks go to his head, and he made a lot of bad choices. So, he's no help right now. So, basically, it's just me and my mom. <laughs> um, you seem older than I think. I'm 28, so I don't know. <laughs> do I Do I seem older? Y'all, my feet. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, yeah. I'm 28. Girl, I know you got a man. Quit hiding it. I'm kidding. But, yeah, I assume you have a boyfriend. Nope, no boyfriend. But, yeah. Will I tell y'all? I don't know. Like, it depends, you know? I don't know. You tell the truth no matter how bad it is. You, um, yes. And the reason I tell the truth, y'all, it's not necessarily, like, it's just because I have a bad memory. And I try to, <laughs> I, I can't lie, like. Because I can't remember what I said. Like, I, I literally can't. Like, if I lie, I can't remember what I said. I don't have a great memory. It's something wrong with my memory. It's always been that way. I don't have a good memory at all. But, um... 
Yeah, so I try, I, I, I make sure that I, I just tell the truth, because the truth will set you free, and I don't like really stressing about, oh, somebody gonna find out, da, 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 da. I ain't nobody got time for all that, we gotta make this quint. So you need to be telling the truth so you can make this coin and get your life together, sis. <laughs> Stop lying out here. Because lying ain't going to do nothing to you. And I don't, I've watched my brother go down the worst rabbit hole because he's a, a pathological liar. So I just watch how his life is just going bad when he lies. And, like, I watch my mom. She's, like, a truthful person, always telling the truth. And, like, my dad, he was, like, a blunt person, always telling the truth no matter what. And I just seen them, and they just prospered in life, you know? They always kind of get what they want. And... I don't know, I just, I just seen that with my eyes, and I was just like, you know, telling the truth is just a lot better than lying, and I ain't got time. Um, you don't have much sex. Hey, you, you, you just want to know. You just want to know if I ever said you nasty. I ain't telling you. I ain't telling you. Um, you're outgoing, but also private, but brutally honest. For example, if your, if your friend asks you for some, vi some advice, you wouldn't sugarcoat your answer. You're hilarious, enjoy a good old time, and you don't take no mess. So, with that being said, with that whole, like, yes, I'm honest with my friends, like, now. So, I had to realize that I had to release those friends that I felt like I could not be honest with. Um... And so now, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty honest with my friends. They act, like, don't ask me. That, that's my thing. Do not ask me if you don't want the answer. Okay? Don't ask, sis. What you gonna ask me some shit you don't want the answer for? Does that make any sense to you? Okay? If you, don't ask, don't be that person. Like, if you're that person that asks people stuff just to get confirmation, we can't be friends. Because I am not gonna confirm what you think. No. Uh-uh. No, ma'am, I will not. No, ma'am, I would not. If you want, if you want a real answer, then I'm gonna tell you. Um, I assume you're a shy person. I actually am a shy person. Um, initially, until I get your vibes, because like not everybody likes my type of personality. Like a very truthful person. I'm, I mean, I'm very nice. I don't go up to people and be like, "You shall we?" Da, da, da. Like, no, I'm not. I don't go up to people. First of all, like if I don't know you, you ain't gonna hear me talk. Uh, and and give you no type of nothing like I'm probably not gonna tell you anything <laughs> but if like I'm at the club I dance so I'm not shy like dancing used to be how I get out and like open up like dance I can express anything through dancing like for real <laughs> oh <laughs> random fact I do hiccup every day <laughs> I do I, I, I know I haven't shown you guys but I hiccup every single day it's weird and we don't know what's going on with that I'm going to assume you love living alone. Oh, my God. Yes. Love it. Love it with all the passion. Okay. Um, I don't know. I've just been living alone all my life. I don't have to clean when other people want me to clean up. And I don't have people judging me. Like, yes, I love to live alone. And I will kill a bitch walk up in my house because I have all rights. So don't try the shit. I will kill you. Uh-huh. Like, I will slice your fingers off. Like, I will... <laughs> I am my dad's child, okay? Let's just say that. I've become a lot more fearless now. I will say that. Like, I'm, as you realize how easy death is, you become a little bit more fearless, and especially when you start losing your family members. Um, you definitely come, become a little more fearless, so the amount of shit that I take has been minimized. That came with time. Like, when I was in high school, I was not y'all I was a mess like I was so shy the shy was was crazy cheerleading was the only time that I wasn't shy but like I couldn't go to I didn't go to parties like I didn't even want to because I was just so shy like I don't want to talk to people I don't know I was popular in high school I mean in the aspect of being in events like I was even in chorus you guys I was the second soprano um section leader actually y'all I've always been a leader like when I look back I've always been a leader, so, like, it's so weird that now I'm just... Actually, it's not weird that I'm doing this, is what I'm saying. It's not weird that I'm doing this, because I've always been a leader. I've always been somebody, like, they, my name was Spotlight at my in, in college. Like, that was my nickname for on the dance team. And they said, because I just, like, owned the spotlight as soon as I hit the dance floor. You know what I'm saying? I be trying, you know what I'm saying? Demand that attention. <laughs> But um, I wouldn't say I'm, I was popular because I didn't have, like, a lot of friends. I didn't have a lot of friends. Nah. -uh. I am a pretty open book, y'all. I really am. I'm, 
I'm trying to tell y'all as much about me in this video as I can, but I'm pretty open. Open book. I try to be, just because, like I said, y'all, it's no reason to be all secretive and stuff because we're all humans, you know? So, if we all just kind of open up and stop being so... Sh like shameful of your own life, then you'll realize that there's so many people just like you. Even the darkest of things that you do, there are other people with darker things than you. Like, it's crazy how you, it's, it's like judging books by its cover. Like, you don't know what everybody else is going through. Um, my assumption is that you don't do any protective styling. Yes, ma'am, I do. <laughs> my second assumption is that you're planning on starting your own line of products. Why make y'all been that? I ain't, uh uh y'all. I had I been had cussed a few folks out trying to get what I want, so I don't know. It it takes a team to do stuff like that, and I don't know about all that. <laughs> you are outgoing. You are very smart. You're adventurous. You don't have any kids. Nope, don't have any kids. I'm not really outgoing. I stay in the house. Am I very smart? I don't. I mean, I'm smart in like common sense wise but i wouldn't say i'm like book smart i'm smart like i do research on the things that i want to know yes that's what i do so i, I wouldn't say that i'm like super smart but um you know I, I get a lot i think a lot of people listen to how i talk normally and the fact that i talk country and you guys think that some people probably think i'm dumb and i'm not dumb i can talk like i can talk proper as fuck okay I've been in corporate for a long time and people always thought I was a white girl because when they pull up they they thought I was like an older white lady and then they pull up they was like this isn't what I was expecting and I'd be like oh really what was you expecting because I sound very professional on the phone yeah okay <laughs> but yeah no but I'm from the country so like I could I realized that I changed my voice a lot like I don't know if you guys realize it but I can literally change my voice a lot I could sound like people too um like, I used to sing. I might sing a little song for y'all at the end of the video. I don't know. I ain't thought about it yet. Um, you're a loyal friend. Yes. Like, I because friends are everything, y'all. Like, friends are everything to me. I'm not going to lie. Like, when my father died, it really showed me. Every time, every time there's a death, it, it shows me who my friends are. I'm not going to lie. It really shows me, like, who's here for me, who's not. Man, my... My homegirl, Destiny, the one who actually did my braids and always does my hair, y'all, she drove to my hometown to, like, hmm, sorry. I'm sorry. Ah. Uh, damn it. <laughs> and this is how death works. You, you're good, and then you have a moment, you know? But anyway. She drove all the way down to the funeral. And, I'm sorry. That may be little to you guys, but like, it meant so much to me. So, anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna be fine, okay? I'm gonna be fine. But, this is how grieving works. And a lot of people be like, oh my god, take your time and don't like do work. But like, you're not gonna just get all your grieving out then. Like, it comes in cycles. But anyway. Oh my god, y'all see how my eyes get? They get so big, so red, and the tears won't stop. Oh my god. The tears won't stop. <laughs> anyway. Get it together, Kimbo. Get it together. Get it together. Okay. Anyway. I don't know why I got into that, but I love my homegirl. <laughs> Okay, so someone said the assumption is that I am a perfectionist, and that is not the case. Um, oh shoot, I think a, a lot of a lot of people think that because I, I I do produce good content, you know. Um, but no, I'm not a perfectionist. I don't sit at the 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 computer and edit for like hours and hours and hours trying to make sure that everything's perfect like no I don't want to be perfect I want to be the opposite of perfect I do I do I do I want to be imperfect I don't know why I don't want to be perfect I want to be different I want to be I want to be me and I know I'm not perfect I am far from perfect far so no I'm not a perfectionist at all 
I assume you love really hard. Yes, I do. <laughs> um, my assumption is you think that wash and goes are the main style that grew your hair. Um, no, I don't. I don't think that. I think. I think wash and goes. Um, helped with it though. Like I don't think it's like the main source that grew my hair. I mean, drinking water, eating healthy is definitely. I think one of the main sources that that helped me drinking water and just just taking care of my hair. Like I'm not saying um, it had to be washing goals all the time. Like I'm definitely not saying that. But um, but yeah, um, no, cause I I I can wear braids every day. I just don't because I like to do washing goals. But I'm not well. No, I actually wouldn't do braids a lot because I could tell the tension on these is just, it's, I don't think it's it's that great. I don't think you should have braids in that long because it's just, you're, you need to clean that scalp, okay? <laughs> Cleaning my scalp is what I feel has really helped my hair to grow. And just taking, ma maintaining my hair and taking care of my hair is what really is growing my hair. But I do think wash and goes do play a huge part of it because... <sighs> It's a low manipulation hairstyle, but you guys know this. We got videos on that. <laughs> All right, you only like tall guys. That is correct, actually, because I'm 5'6", and I need you to be taller than me. Like, ugh, be taller, okay? You only get disrespectful when disrespected first. I think I'm just blunt. I don't think I'm disrespectful at all. I think I'm just honest and blunt, and I, I really, I, I've noticed how many people take honesty as disrespectful. Like, I realize a lot of y'all are very, like, I'm a very soft, sensitive person, but honesty, I've never been, like, if it's something that's honest, like, I don't mind saying, okay, like, you right. <laughs> like, if it's true, but if it's not, I'm going to tell you why it's not, and we're going to have a conversation like adults, but I don't get disrespect. I'm not disrespectful. I don't think I'm disrespectful to anybody. I don't think I'm disrespectful at all. I don't. I really don't. I, I, I really, like I said, I don't like when people's feelings are hurt. Um, I do think that bad things should happen to bad people and karma is going to happen to bad people. I highly, I am like, uh, karma is, is so real, like, so, so real. My assumption is that you have goals that you haven't brought up to the Kim Shee gang family. Y'all, no. <laughs> I mean, like I said, I kind of just like, I don't like to put labels on much now. Now I'm more about just living in the moment, enjoying the moment, enjoying what I have at the moment. I, I try not to do a lot of the, I want this, I want this, I want this, because I feel like it's going to come. It's going to come naturally. Who knows? I might be in a movie in a minute. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe somebody's going to like how I talk and communicate and want me to be on the talk show. I don't know, okay? But I'm open to it all. Like I'm, I'm, I have so many talents. I, I can build things. I can sing. I can dance. I can socialize. I can make videos. I just have so many talents. So like I'm open to whatever life has to offer. Basically, you took vitamins along with your hair routine. Nope, I do not take vitamins. I do not take medication. Okay, sis. We ain't taking no medication. Mm -mm. I don't like medicine. I ain't like birth control. I ain't on none of that. I don't like medicine like that. Nope. Nope. Um, I was antisocial in high school. I, I would say I was kind of anti. Like, I wouldn't say that a lot of people in high school know me personally. I wouldn't say that. Besides Brittany, um, my best friend, like, I, yeah, no. You're very neat and hate when things are dirty. Girl, no, nah, honey. That ain't me at all. At all, honey. I mean, I, 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 okay, I do feel much better when everything is clean. Like, I, I love it, but things aren't always clean in my house is what I'm saying. Like, cleaning <laughs> does not make me direct money at the moment, so I, I focus my brain to what's making me money. So I film, edit, upload, like, I do things, I, I do my job a lot because I, I would rather have my attention on making moolah, okay? Um... I'm extremely nice, but not a pushover. I don't take crap from nobody. Yes. Yes, I'm extremely nice and not a pushover. You're right. 
that's me. That is me. I am, I, I, I would like to say I'm like a very nice person. Like, if you want to talk to me, I don't care who you are. Just like talk to me. And I would like probably talk to you like we homegirls because I know how it feels to be an outsider. I know how it feels to not be accepted. I know how it feels to be ignored. I know how it feels to not feel pretty. I know how it feels. I know. Like, that was me. So. I don't like for people to feel sad. Might not be an assumption, but you're very confident about yourself and your career. I would like to think so. I'm very confident now. Life has just taken a toll on me, and I'm very confident, and I'm very happy at where I am. And I'm, y'all, I'm just so happy that, like, I can help my mom. Now my mom doesn't have a husband. She doesn't have a husband. So, like, everything that I do now is for the betterment of her. Like, I want to help her pay bills. Like, I know I'm better off. And so... I want to grow so that I can just, my mom don't have to, like, work a lot. Like, she can enjoy her life now and go travel and, like, a lot of stuff that she didn't get do because her and my dad was just always in the house and just working and stuff. But now she's alone and needs to get out of that house. So I'm just like, let's get my mom out of this house, y'all. <laughs> get her out. Get her on some vacations. I want to take a vacation with my mom. I haven't taken a vacation with my mom in forever. Like, we've never, actually, since I was a little girl. We don't go on vacations together, ever. And I kind of want to go. So she goes to Vegas every year. I don't know if she's going to go. But I think I want to take my dad's place and go to Vegas with her and my aunt and my uncle and stuff. Like, I really think I want to do that. I love Vegas. I've been once, and it's so nice. Yeah, that's pretty much all the assumptions that I got. I'm almost done with my hair. But we almost said, what, a whole hour of talking. So I don't know how much of this content I'm going to get in. Oh my God, my hair is just like itching, hunty. Y'all see this? Flake City. Flake, 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 flake. Oh yes, God. God is good. I ain't even, am I finished? Oh yeah, I don't have the small braids out though. There's small braids in here. Ooh. But let me go ahead and take these small braids out because I, I don't know. I ain't got much to, else to talk about, you guys. I, I'm about to go do my hair, of course. It's a hair doing day. But this was fun. I hope you guys really got to know me. You know, like, I really hope you guys got to know me a little bit better. It was, it's, it's nice to just sit down and talk to you guys. My braids are all out and um, that's pretty much the end of this video. I'm about to go wash my hair. And I hope you guys really liked this video. It's very long. It's very long. But I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I'll do more videos like this. More chit chats. Because I love to just talk. Why not? Um, yeah, so I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye from me and my baby. Sky. Yum, yum. Hello, sugar boo. Hello, sugar plum. Oh, my goodness. Why are you so lovely? Why are you so lovely? Mwah. Okay, y'all, she hates the camera. Like, look, look, watch it. <laughs> hey, little mama. Y'all, she hates this bow. Oh, God. My baby. This is my baby. Anyway, bye, guys. <laughs>